prepping everything, going through the safety gear. Looks like we're gonna be heading out tomorrow morning. Should be pretty good. Just don't have enough wind to actually go sailing tonight, so we figure might as well wait till the morning and starts filling in. A sailing trip is just like a Grand Canyon trip, right? Lashing. Rig to flip. Rig to flip. Oh man, now we're, you're right in my wheelhouse. Old Mighty Sparrow knows all about that. It is one of those things that I, when I did the trip around the world, that was something I had to consider was like very realistically, what will my, what will happen to the interior of my boat if I go upside down? But it was more of a when I go upside down. Yeah. And I know I only went sideways a couple times, but uh, even like all the, all the hatches on the cabin sole, those were screwed down. Like everything was just like bulletproof. Expect the best, prepare for the worst. Boom! Good morning, everybody. So, as we do the engine checks and get everything sorted for our passage, I figured I'd take a moment to talk a little bit about safety. Um, you know, even though this passage is about 200 miles for the first hop and then about 300 miles to come back around the little Bahama bank, We've written up a passage plan and sent that on to all those people concerned uh, so that they know what our sort of plan is and where we're going to be if anything doesn't uh, go correctly. We've gone through all our safety gear, made sure all the flares and everything are all good and updated. Uh, checking the engine, all the fluids, all the oils, we're fully well provisioned. We got water, we got food, we got everything. We even have a little bit of bush light for the old sundowner. But other than that, um, you know, I've checked over the rigging. We've got spare parts, we got tools, and you know, you want to make sure that you have more than you need. That way, you, it's, it's way better to, to have taken too much than to have not taken enough at all. So communication wise, we've got a spot tracker and then also we do have a satellite phone. So if we need to uh, get a weather report or do anything like that, we uh, will be able to reach people. So should be a great trip, hoping for the best and uh, can't wait to just get out there and sail. Gulfstream, here we come. Off and running we go. Oh, see you later, land. Take that one more time again for the... <laughs> I'm gonna get some cheese. Get some cheese. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I've thrown up twice now. And now I feel so much better. And now I'm starving. So yeah. Yes, nice. Not quite the wine, but cheese. We'll start with the cheese. Fantastic, nice job. All right, finally after complete slog, literally slog for like 54 hours, the winds are no longer headwinds and the head seas are starting to ease up and we finally are just moving. It's time to shake out a reef, get this freight train really running. So I'm gonna video Mark doing it. He's doing a great job.
Finally, we have some reprieve. Center of the lowest pass, way north. After three and a half days of bashing and crawling our way upwind, we finally headed around. Take a turn around the Abacos and back to four Florida. Woo! Beauty. What are we gonna figure out how to install next? Let's see, cockpit drain locker. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good answer. Yeah, I've used that little knob to bring it right down to the horizon. That's how you boost morale, Cap. All right, all right. So we're um, we're headed across the stream, and uh, just behind us is the island of uh, Grand Bahamas. We stayed at a place called uh, Crossing Bay, right outside of West End, just for the night, and wait for things to calm down a little bit. We're cruising, so. Should be pretty cool. We've uh, we've done some chart work. We've tried to lay things down on the old paper chart. Some course to steer. We'll see if it uh, works out. And a little bit of the old sailing into oblivion school of seamanship going on today. So that was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, we're we're all taking bets on arrival time. So should be good. All downwind, and then the winds shift out of the southeast which will make for a nice broad reach to the Fort Pierce Inlet. Wish us luck.